All right, so I have an HP laptop here. It's an older one. It is running an AMD Turon 2 dual core. So, you know, it's chugging along, it's doing the best it can, and it only has four gigs of RAM. Okay, so not the greatest machine, but it's doing the job, and that gives you an idea how old it is. It originally had Windows 7 on it, and it was upgraded to Windows 10. One of the issues was that Windows 10 installed its own drivers for the ATI Mobility Radeon HD, which were newer than the software uh, available um, from, a, uh, from AMD. However, when those were installed, you weren't getting the software that came with it, which is um, that. You wouldn't get the AMD Vision Engine Control Center. Now, the graphics would the graphics without that software would work just fine for the most part because they were installed but when you went to ATI uh, AMD to get the old ATI graphics the legacy graphics to install those to get all of the drivers that you would need for this uh, machine post edit apparently something happened to the video because I was explaining something and then it gets cut off and it just goes to something else entirely. There's like a whole section that was missing. I'm not sure what happened there and I'm just going to step in and uh, finish the uh, thing that I was trying to say in this clip here. However, when those were installed, you weren't getting the software that came with it. Which so essentially, um, I installed Windows 10 on this machine for someone else and I upgraded it from Windows 7. Doing so installed the graphics drivers but did not install the software that comes along with it and I actually um, needed to use that software. Which is um, that. You wouldn't get the AMD Vision engine control center now it, the graphics would the graphics without that software would work just fine for the most part because they were installed but when you went to ATI uh, AMD to get the old ATI graphics the legacy graphics to install those to get all of the drivers that you would need for this uh, machine uh, right there when I went to AMD's website and grabbed the drivers for this machine and installed them, I was running into that problem where Windows would automatically want to install the new stuff, which is fine because, as I said in an earlier clip here, um, somewhere in here, that I actually wanted to use the newer drivers that came with you know, the Windows 10 install as opposed to the older ones. But I wanted to also be able to use the software that goes along with that with with that driver, which I managed to make happen. And I explained a little bit of that in this video. But I also explained other things that happened in the, to this computer from the update. So there's more to this than just talking about the GPU drivers. So yes, I'm aware of like DDU, and I'm aware of telling Windows to not install drivers and things like that. But in this particular case, I actually wanted the newer drivers. Um, for the GPU. I just didn't like that when they installed, they were uninstalling the software that I needed. Essentially, they would install and I'd have a problem with it. And then I was running into other issues as well. And if, and this is at this point, I explain all the steps I took to get it to do what I wanted it to do and have success with the machine from this moment on right here. First thing I needed to do was install the chipset software from AMD on the, the device. By the way, this is an HP Pavilion D5. Now, as you see, I got all the drivers installed. They're all set. However, as I was saying, the thing is, 
if you if you needed this software that um, comes with this machine, at least for the ATI uh, graphics, but when you installed those from AMD, you would get your software and you would get your drivers that would show up just like that. But Windows updates would automatically go to install the newer driver, which is this one here. Okay, the newer driver from from Windows Update, which would then erase the software. So what I ended up having to do was install the software in compatibility mode, I think with what might have been Windows 7, perhaps, I don't remember anymore. Oh, excuse me, hold on a minute. First things first, because I think I skipped around a little bit for a second there, and I apologize. I went to AMD, and I installed the chipset software for the device and I just used their automatic scan software the uh, minimal setup I think it might be so it scanned the system and, up the, and updated the, the, the chipset after updating the chipset I went and manually looked for these drivers for this graphics card and then I downloaded what they offered which was the uh, legacy drivers with the software and everything but as I was saying, once I installed that, Windows Update would automatically, not even as an optional one, but would automatically install the newer drivers. So, by doing so, would also erase the software. What I ended up doing to solve that problem was let Windows Update install after installing the software, then go back, install the software again, but do it with customize instead of automatic, and uncheck the graphics card and the HDMI audio and leave everything else checked and install. So then you end up with the newer graphics drivers uh, from Windows that, that doesn't insist on installing over and over and over again. And you get the software that goes with it altogether. You just have to do it like that in that, in, in that order.